now students i will take the another example of uh, kirchhoff's second law numerical you will see here in this circuit diagram there is in this loop loop 1 emf is 2 volt and current is i1 and the resistance is 1 ohm and uh, in loop 2 emf is 1 volt and the current is i2 and the resistance is 1 ohm now i will take here loop 1 you will see loop 1 so for loop 1 you will see this condition for loop 1 i1 minus 2 because we are taking loop 1 so i1 minus 2 plus 2 i3 is equal to 0 because the product of current and resistance will be positive and the emf will be negative and then because there is no cell in i3 so you will take this part also positive then you will write that will be equal to 0 you will solve this part i1 minus 2 plus 2 and in place of i3 you will write here i1 plus i2 why you will write i1 plus i2 by using here kirchhoff first law current is flowing through this branch and current is flowing through through this branch so the total current will be i1 plus i2 you will write here i1 plus i2 so that will be equal to 0 and then you will solve here 2i1 plus i1 that will be equal to 3i1 and 2i2 2 into i2 so you will write 2i2 and that will be equal to 2 because this 2 you will shift in right hand side and you will write 2 and you will make equation first are you understanding this part you keep in your mind here how you will make this equation first please you focus this part now you will find the second part how you will find the second part by using the loop 2 for loop 2 you will write here you see the loop 2 in this loop 2 here the value of current and the resistance will make 1 i2 minus 1 volt and then you will write 2 i3 similarly you will solve this part and you will write 1 i2 minus 1 plus 2 i3 is equal to 0 now you will solve again i2 minus i1 plus 2 i1 plus i2 in place of i3 and you will write that will be equal to 1 so further you will solve this part so again you will write 2 i1 plus 3 i2 because i2 this part i2 and 2 i2 so you will get here 3 i2 and that will be equal to 1 so you will get these two required equation for solving the value here for uh, finding the values of i1 i2 and i3 now you will solve here you will write these two equations equation 1 3i1 plus 2i2 is equal to 2 and 2i1 plus 3i2 is equal to 2 but you will solve these two equations simultaneously you will multiply this equation by 3 so you will make here i2 same and you will make here you will see this equation and you will multiply this equation by 2 so you will make here here 9i1 plus 6i2 is equal to 6 and 4i1 plus 6i2 is equal to 2 now you will solve these two equations simultaneously when you will solve these two equations these two will be cancel out and you will get 9i1 minus 4i1 so you will get what 5i1 and 6 minus 2 that will be equal to 4 you will get here i1 is equal to 4 upon 5 so you will get the result of i1 that will be 0.8 ampere 0.8 ampere now we will take here again equation first equation first is here 3i1 plus 2i2 is equal to 2 you will see here you will place the value of i1 in this equation in place of this part so you will write 3 you will write 3 and what is the value of i1 0.8 plus 
and I2 that will be equal to 2. And now you will see here 2I2 is equal to 2 minus 0 2.4 because you will write here 2I2 this part and 2 you will shift this part 3 into 0 0.8 that will be equal to 2.4. So you will shift in right hand side so it will become negative then you will write 2I2 is equal to 2 minus 2.4. And then you will solve here this part 2i2 is equal to minus 0 0.4. You will solve here i2 is equal to you will divide this 2 in this minus 0 0.4. So you will get here minus 0 0.2 ampere. Minus 0 0.2 ampere when the current is coming minus it means the, this is flowing from opposite of this branch is means you will see here opposite of this loop i2 is coming negative. You keep in your mind minus 0 0.2 and now you will solve the value of I3. What is the value of I3? I3 is equal to I1 plus I2. This is known as what? Kirchhoff first law. Please again you listen carefully. When you are solving any numericals related to Kirchhoff second law, here Kirchhoff first law you will apply, you will use and you will write here I3 is equal to I1 plus I2. So, the value of I1 is what? 0 0.8 and the value of I2 is what? Minus 0 0.2. So, finally you will get I3 is equal to what? 0 0.6 ampere and in this way you will find the values of I1, I2 and I3. Okay, thank you.